Coming to Gateshead, I was greatly looking forward to looking at uh, Angel of the North, but I could have sworn it was a bit bigger than this. But it is an original. That is an original, but uh, that, that existed before the real thing. Uh, and the real thing is uh, 20 times bigger than that, and 20 times broader. Now, am I right in thinking you're on the council? I am, yeah, I'm a council and Gateshead. And were you responsible in any way for the Great Commission? Well, I was. Um, obviously, everyone the council voted for or didn't vote for the council. There was some, some controversy there, uh, but it went through with a big majority. And um, I think uh, ever since, we've, uh, the, the whole world, world has warmed towards the Angel of the North. I mean, it was a very inspired and bold choice because you have created on its site probably the most successful contemporary sculpture in Britain. I think it is. Uh, I mean, I think it's a beautiful object anyway. Mm. Uh, it's got great emotional ties for me. My father used mm. to work on the, the coal mine, in the site where the angel is now um, appears. So just to clarify, this is the bronze maquette for the 20 meter high steel version. The preparatory work that Gormley the sculptor, Anthony Gormley, used to persuade you and others to commission this great object. Well, it was the maquette, which is uh, one of a number, but was the final one. And basically, the, the, the Angel of the North, you now see, mm. um, just off the ear one, is based on this. And isn't it a motorist every second sees it? Just about, yeah, yeah. and rail passengers and probably air passengers as well. I think it's worth asking, why is it such a successful work of art? And I think the angel, or the concept of the angel, goes deep into the human psyche. It's an archetypal image that goes right back to Renaissance times. We see them riddling throughout uh, yeah. panel paintings and altarpieces, and indeed it was angel, uh, an angel or a group of angels, who heralded the birth of Christ. Using something that has a deep resonance in our culture, Anthony Gormley has given it basically a makeover. He's called it Angel of the North. That immediately makes it quite terse and modern. It's placed over a coal mine, a sort of deeply emotional site for something quite so beautiful, important, and salvationary as this. But even this has a power, an arresting power. I remember just seeing it as it came in, and you know, it seemed to take the take room it. over. So now we come to the subject of valuation. And how do you value something like this? Well, it's easier to value than a lot of things of this stature, of this iconic resonance, because another version did sell very recently. Admittedly, it was taller, and it wasn't of bronze, and that made about two million pounds, or rather a little bit over that. Yeah. So I think on the basis that this is half the size, I would comfortably value it at a million pounds. Amazing. Absolutely amazing.